So y'all, we are back. We are about to do some laundry. This is the same routine that I normally do. Um, just with a little twist to it. Um, because I did start using Purcell. I did do a review on Purcell and how I liked it. I will link the video in the comment section below if I can find it, you guys. But if you find it before me, then go ahead and look at it. Um, just letting you know how I love Purcell. And they shouted out to me and wanted me to do a review on some of their products. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm getting down to the wire on the parcel. So uh, I do have a bag of um, thing of parcel that I have bought on my own um, because I honestly love just being able to throw this inside the washer without any like you know pulling of the the laundry liquid uh dispenser and all that stuff now i will tell you i probably won't use swabby tail today but i do love to use the swabby tail um line and the only two ones that i really love is the soothing lavender and my ultimate favorite is the um sun it's like a it's like sun kiss I think it's like Sunkiss. It's a yellow one. And it is really good. They smell so good. They keep your clothes smelling fresh like for weeks, you guys. Um, and then also my sister introduced me to this downy... Um, I think they're like little scent boosters um so i'm gonna go ahead and try these now this is my first time trying these if i don't like them i'll let you guys know um but i am willing to give it a try and this is the only reason why i'm not using my swabby tail today because i don't want that extra and me and my son's skin is so sensitive you guys like we cannot put a lot of like fragrances and stuff on our skin or we'll break out so um yeah that's why i'm not using swabby tail today and i opted to use this she told me to go ahead and use it because it's like really nice it smells really nice and all that good stuff so yeah you guys the only thing that I have oh yeah you guys um when I was going to the 99 cent only stores because I definitely don't go <laughs> to the 99 cent stores anymore um but I found this nice little laundry basket which I love it keeps my our clothes in there it keeps me pretty much grounded as a single mom and not to over like do clothes because me and my son literally we would change like maybe three or four times a day that's just how we are especially when you go outside especially in texas um it is so hot out in the the weather like the temp today will be 105 so yeah if you go out and you you're out for a while and you're sweaty by any means <laughs> change your clothes because i, I wouldn't want to walk, walk through all day with the same sweaty clothes on so yeah we do do that and uh i just learned as a mom it's okay to change twice a day um so yeah i bought this really unique basket inside of this basket is just like my work clothes pants shirts uh my uh undies uh, a couple of bras i think and um because i don't own a lot of like a lot of bras and i really need to get a handle on that um, but yeah, I have bras in there and my son just has his undies, his boy uh, play clothes and um, like shorts and shirts and stuff like that and socks. Um, so we don't have any major things in there. So I'm really glad that it's basically this small <laughs> because you guys, it can be a little bit bigger, but um, I've learned to save water um and all that good stuff since i'm washing i'm using my mom's washer and dryer i did have an issue with this washer and dryer yesterday you guys when i you will see that video um it should be up before this one um but i had a whole issue i just feel like me and my sister did purchase this washer and dryer for my sister my sister my mom and i just feel like she should like keep it up you know what I mean it was dirty it has I, I just went in and deep cleaned it and everything and um I just can't get down with the nastiness like especially when you're trying to wash clothes it was like I even organized this for her you know and then trash and stuff everything looks pretty much clean but if you're going to be washing your clothes like at laundromats and stuff like that just make sure you take Clorox rock wipes or something like that and wash the the washing machine off I mean I feel so much better if I did that um, because you just never know um, but anyways enough of the ramble let's get to the video <laughs>
Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend, cause you find the way you are. I wanna know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever. We lying in my arms. My heart is open. It just took some time. Now I just hope that you'd stay for a little while. You fix what's broken. So just stay for a little while So just stay for a little while I didn't think that I would find that someone Who's as honest as you are It's cold outside But you make it all right I wanna know you better oh. Give me every detail oh. I won't judge you as you know So you guys, wait a minute Let me pause this really quick I need to ask y'all something really, really fast now, I normally stick my hand in this thing, and literally, I am, I'm not going to even lie to you guys, I'm terrified what could be in there. I mean, there's not going to be, like, nothing crazy in there, but I'm just terrified, like, germs and stuff from previous wash that, you know, I normally wash my, me and my son's clothes. My mom and my sister washed their own clothes separate, too, but um, I'm just, I don't, since the whole Corvette 19 is going on I just I've been so like particular with what I do and what I touch um, and that's why I try to keep a bottle of my Trader Joe's hand sanitizer uh, around because I literally have to stick my hand in here all the freaking time when I get ready to wash my clothes and my son's clothes and I just I just feel it's just disgusting and it has like germs and stuff but my question is to all moms out there sis do they have some type of like I don't know something you can put in there instead of using your hand I know that I probably could use gloves um, but I feel like even with the gloves like it will be so hard to probably get all this stuff out of there because you got to scrape it normally I just take uh, just a little piece of the ball and let it build up and just kind of like move it along but I still don't get all that um, all that stuff out of there um, but, um, is there a way to purchase, like, like maybe a cleaning wand or something to get all that out? Is there a such thing as a cleaning wand for your, um, laundry, your, uh, dryer filter? Is there, like, something I can do that's really quick to get this out instead of using my fingers, my hands to get it out? And it's just so difficult and hard. Um, so let me know in the comments below um, Just let me know what you guys use if you use your hands. That's fine, too um, Just let me know what you do or if you have like a alternative for um, What I could like maybe go purchase something and uh, get it out that way um, But yeah, let me finish washing these clothes
is open It just took some time Now I just hope that you stay for a little while You fix what's broken When you make that smile So just stay
so I got everything folded you guys I really love folding it is so relaxing if you're going through anything you need to get your mind clear get your mind right sis folding is the answer or going for a little long walk look you got to do what you got to do as a mother to get your mind right for these kids, okay? You can't be going around here stressed, depressed, and all out of control about what he say, she say, said. <laughs> Honey, stay positive. Keep your positive energy and fold these clothes, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys, I'm good. Um, but um, most of the time when I need to relax like after work or whatever and I have clothes to wash or whatever this is my relaxation like I love folding you guys probably want to hear that because I know some of y'all mamas don't like folding I know that but at the end of the day you have to fold your clothes because who wants to wear wrinkled clothes to work or your kids wearing wrinkled clothes outside that just makes it look bad on you as a mother so Yes, take responsibility, get in that laundry room, and fold. So, I got my son's clothes here. I have, like, way more clothes than my son. So, I got his shorts, his shirts, uh, undies. And I will, I don't really fold socks. I don't do that. Even not even mine. I don't do that. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm not getting paid to fold them socks. Okay. Um, my mask. Um, this is my... One of my new masks. I just got a new one, another new mask my friend gave me. It's like a marble-ish uh, mask. And you guys, I do, do recommend you guys go to Dollar Tree and see if you can find these. Oh my gosh. It had, I've been having these for like two weeks. And I got like three in a pack or two in a pack, I believe. And ever since then, I've been going back to Dollar Tree to find these. And it's basically one of those, you know, hit or miss. So, um... Yeah, you guys, I love this. It definitely keeps the wrinkles out of the clothes once you put it in the dryer. I don't know if you can put them inside of the washer. I don't know how that would work, but in the dryer, it's really good. And I do have my jacket because, you guys, when I'm at work, they have the air on so cold. Like, I have to literally pack my jacket in, um, in my work bag. Um, but yeah, I have my pants and if you guys notice, I do color coordinate everything. So I have my pants from darks to lightest, my shirts from dark to lightest, uh, undies, same way. I think I'm going to be either redoing, like revamping, not revamping, but just changing over underwear. And I think I'm going to buy like more cotton panties than the ones with the color in them. Um, I think I'm going to stick to like the tan, black, and gray sort of underwear um i know all the other underwear are cute and all but as a woman we need to stick with those cottons okay <laughs> and so and these are my sleeping clothes oh inside of the shirts i do got like a couple of dresses um and then i have my bra and then out of all, all the stuff in there i had one towel this is my face towel i do have a towel where I, um I basically i have two towels one for my face and one for my body um, I don't, um, and soon to be three towels because I was researching up on like either the Pinterest or Google and it was saying that a woman supposed to, um, at least have three towels for her face, one for her face, one for her body and one for her, um, vajayjay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably like get another towel, have three. I know that's a lot, but as a woman you have to keep yourself fresh clean and you know you know um and then i have my workout gear here which are just mainly dark colors i've never stepped into like a light color um workout pair of tights but these were at diddy's discount oh my gosh you guys i got some old navy ones and then i got these at diddy's and i got this shirt right here um it's like a waist trimmer shaper or something like that I don't know um, but I got this shirt here and I just can't wait to put these I don't think I, I don't actually think I can wear these I'm sure I positive I can't wear these um, just yet I'm making it in them but they may be a little too tight um, because of the way the material is but the old navy ones down here oh my gosh I can get in those really good um, in the top I can wear um, but yeah, I have these. These two right here came from Walmart. Um, these, uh, what are the brands? If you, in case you guys want, I think 
I don't know if you want to try to look for them <sighs> sorry guys I should have had this all figured out so that's the brand of them and I always get my workout clothes a little bit bigger like extra large even though I'm in a large um, I get an extra large because I like to um, have my clothes for comfort um, so yeah you guys that is it for my haul hope you guys enjoyed and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video